today we're going to be going over how to set up a completely free dedicated server in pal world all you need to do is buy the game and absolutely nothing else so let's get into it right off the bat first things first obviously you need the game but if you have the game you should be able to go to steam you go to the search and then you just type in pal world and what you're going to find is this it's a pal world dedicated server you're going to need to install that while we wait for that install, please hit subscribe if you can. I'm trying to make more and more videos about more and more games, going over how to do various things as quick as possible. All right, now that it's installed, you're gonna have to launch that server. So you're gonna launch it, and then you're gonna have this option, Play Pal World Dedicated Server. That, that's what you're gonna wanna do, just hit play. So now you see this right here. Do you want to allow public and private networks to access this app? You're going to need to hit allow here. This is your firewall, it's asking you if you should allow this game to, well, basically run and host a server. You want to do that because you're trying to host a dedicated server. If you hit no, well, you really messed up. So now if you see this setting break pad, min dump, app ID, whatever it is, that basically means your server is running. Well, let's just go ahead and try and find that server. So now that you've got that running, all you got to do is go to join multiplayer game. And go right here this is your ip address this is just your local host address this is a port that you're joining you just hit connect and bing bang boom you are going to be joining your very own server and just like that we have joined our own local server so now there's a few more things that you're going to need to do first off you're going to want to open the command prompt so now you've opened the command prompt what you're going to want to type in is ip config so right now you put on your trench coat put on those matrix glasses go back to 2000 and let's get into it if you look you're going to see something called the default gateway there should be an ip address here it should be 192.168. usually it's dot one dot one but maybe it's a little bit different for you this is hopefully going to be what you use to access your router by default you can access your router using 192.168.1.1 but it might be a little bit different for some people for me it was so once you put once you get that you're going to put that into your browser now you should have access to your router there might be a password it really depends every router is different what you're going to want to do here is if you want other people to be able to play your game from all over the internet you're going to need to go to port forwarding now what you're going to need to do is look back at that command prompt to find your ipv4 address this is your address locally Okay, so if you're in a gated community, this would just be sort of like, oh, this is Bob's house, this is Jane's house, this is so-and-so's house. It's just local. That's just, everybody in the area sort of knows a house by that name. Now, your official address, that would be your IP address. Your IP address, that is what's going to be used by everybody to get access to you. So think of this like your mailing address, right? Anybody can send a letter to you just by having your mailing address. Your IP address sort of works the same way. Once you give that out, anybody that has it can now send you a letter and they know it's going to be reaching you. Your IPv4 address, that only works if someone's in your house connected to your network. So if you're with the boys doing a LAN reenacting Brokeback Mountain and you get a little bit of a time for a break, what you can do is use that IPv4 address, give that to your boys, they can type that into Pal World, you guys can all connect, and then you can do your Brokeback thing. Now, if you're connecting to the whole wide net, what you're going to want to do again is go to that default gateway, type in that address into your browser, now you're going to have to forward the port, and the port we used was that 8211 port. You're going to forward anything that comes on 8211 to your IPv4 address. And this is going to take any traffic that comes into that port and forward it to you. And hopefully that traffic's meant for your server. One word of caution here is if there are errors in the server, if there's bugs, if there's some sort of, you know, like, you know, buffer overflow thing that could happen, or if there's some way that someone can hack into that server and get access to your computer, you're, you're, you're open now. Right? Like, for instance, usually walking around in the world, you, you gotta, you gotta, you know, you got a nice layer of denim protecting your butthole. Now, think about it like this. All of a sudden, that layer of denim doesn't exist. If someone's running around with a golden you-know-what, they can just shove it up there and there's nothing stopping them. So, sort of works the same way here. Alright, so now that you've seen the easy way, let's go over the hard way. So this is going to involve Steam CMD. So if you Google Steam CMD download, click that first link. It's going to be a Valve Developer Community link or community site. What you're going to find down here is if you go down to Windows, you're going to see download Steam CMD for Windows. Click that, bing, bang, boom, it should download. So this is a file called Steam CMD. What you're going to want to do is take the Steam CMD file 
that you just downloaded, extracted into this area. <clears throat> then you're gonna run it, run Steam CMD. It's gonna do a bunch of updates, download a bunch of stuff, and then at the end, you should get something like this, right? It should just say Steam, it should be blinking. That means that everything went as planned. At this point, what you're gonna wanna do is create a new bat file. You can call this whatever you want. In my case, I called it palworld.bat.bat. Now for this, what you're gonna wanna do is, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is just save this command. Steam cmd.exe plus login anonymous plus app update 2394010 plus quit. So now when you wanna save this, you can save as, and again, palworld server, change that to all files, dot bat. Okay, so you're gonna save it like that. And when you run it, it's gonna check for updates. Yours is gonna take a little bit longer than mine because I've already pre-downloaded everything, but it's gonna download everything you need and then it's gonna close. So this means that everything's working as expected. Now what you're gonna wanna do is go back into that bat file, in notepad of course. That's how you're gonna edit these files and you wanna paste this command. So yeah, you're gonna be running this command right here. Again, both these commands, I'm gonna have it posted down in the description. But basically, you're telling it to start palserver.exe. Previously for Steam, we downloaded that file, so it's the same thing. You say your server name, I called it Serial Server, you can call it whatever you want. Set your port name, or your port number. I set it to 8211, which is standard, but you could do something like 6969 if you're a classy gentleman. And then all of this stuff, don't really worry about it, just add it there, it's gonna make things run better. Go ahead, save that file, and now let's try and run it should get this if everything went well this is windows security telling me that something is trying to get past the firewall if you're not completely stupid you're gonna want to hit allow because this is you literally trying to start up your server at this point you should be good to go so now how do you test it how do you make sure if this is working so you're gonna go ahead and launch pal world and again, you should be able to connect to 127.0.0.1, which would be your local server. If you can do that, it means that your server's running and you have a fully functional server that you have just set up. So let's go ahead right here, 127.0.0.1.8211, connect. Here we go, here we go, fingers crossed. And cross them all you want. We just got into our own locally hosted PAL world server. So let's... Let's skip through all this, we don't really care. All right, so now let's go over the fun stuff. Let's go over debugging and just making sure that everything's actually working. So once you've launched your server and everything like that, you should have a server running. If you wanna check if it's actually saving things, doing everything that it should, you go into C, you're gonna go into the Steam CMD, Steam Apps, Common, PAL Server, then you're gonna go into PAL, then you're gonna go to Saved, you're gonna go to Save Games Zero, and then this this should be your saves, right? Like right here, That you know how I joined, that would be my player character. And this would be your saves, it's saving levels, everything like that. So yeah, it shows that we're actually saving games and going through and making everything work. Now what you're gonna wanna do is if you wanna actually be an admin on your server, make sure you do this before you start your server up. You can go to default world settings and you can set an admin password. Once you've set your admin password, all you need to do is type in, this would be in the game, you type in slash in the chat, admin, capital A, password, capital P, then you type in that password. And now what you can do is you can run a bunch of commands. You can run a slash save command to save. You can run a slash kick player command to kick players, slash ban player ban command, slash info, a bunch of stuff like that. There's probably gonna be more commands to come as the game gets more mature. And yeah, that's everything you know to host a PAL world server. One thing though to keep in mind is if you have a server hosted, you can get it connect to it locally, but your friends can't connect, that's a port forwarding issue. So you need to figure out what router you have and look up how to do port forwarding on your router. If you're gonna be doing that, all you've gotta do is go to that default PAL world settings, look at your public port, and you're gonna forward that to your IP4V address. And you're gonna get that by going to your command prompt. Remember, you're gonna type in a CMD, and then you type in IP config and see what that address is. Also remember that gateway address, that's likely how you're gonna access your router. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If this video helped, please make sure you hit subscribe, hit like, and if you got questions, ask them down below. Until next time, peace.